Welcome to This Week in the Asia Pacific, presented by The Diplomat. Today is February 10th, 2023, and here's your roundup of this week's Asia news. On February 4th, the United States military shot down a Chinese balloon that had crossed into U.S. airspace last week. China, which claimed the balloon was a civilian airship used for meteorological research, decried the excessive use of force. On February 6th, China confirmed that a second balloon, seen over Costa Rica, Colombia, and Venezuela, was of Chinese origin. Beijing once again said the balloon was a civilian research airship that had been blown off course. The United States insists that both balloons are used for military surveillance. On February 7th, New Zealand Prime Minister Chris Hipkins arrived in Australia on his first official trip abroad. Hipkins and his host, Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese, discussed climate change, China policy, and their approach to the Pacific Islands. On February 8th, Filipino President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. embarked on a four-day trip to Japan. During the visit, Japan and the Philippines signed new agreements on defense cooperation and infrastructure development. Both countries are U.S. allies that have territorial disputes with China. Also on February 8th, North Korea's capital hosted a military parade to mark the 75th anniversary of the Korean People's Army. The parade, overseen by leader Kim Jong-un, featured intercontinental ballistic missiles and tactical nuclear weapons units, a clear sign of North Korea's commitment to its nuclear and missile programs. That's the biggest news from the Asia-Pacific this week. For more on these and other stories, check out thediplomat.com.